which happens. <laughs> when the lynch mob pulls back the curtain to reveal all that is ferocious and majestical, while well, we are each of us small men to varying degrees, projecting the great and powerful Oz with booming voices so much louder than we are confident. Keep forgiving. If you grow to hate what you loved, which happens, I don't want to be a pendulum swinging from one ivory tower to another. Not everyone is competition. I pray for you on the days that I pray for my enemies, the same days that I pray for myself. Life tends to beat the binaries out of you. It's healthy when you and I become we, but we have got to keep forgiving. If you write for everybody, you write for no one. So I write for my friends. I've watched all of them grope for understanding like a pipe dream. Heard every word that they haven't said through eyes watering, wondering if God really hates them as much as they think that he does in the deafening, inarticulable silence. Their lips are all sealed the same, not because they have nothing to say, but because none of them know how to say it, and neither do I. Maybe you can relate. Keep forgiving. That goes for yourself as much as anyone. Keep forgiving. When pledged allegiances poison the body and civil war breaks out between limbs and you tuck your children into bed at night, remembering the way that you treated their mother as somehow less than. Though you are the product of woman without the power to multiply and you would not be here without her and neither would they. Perspective, perspective. <laughs> And the last shall be first, and she'll deserve every trophy that God hands her for being your trophy for so long. I'm sorry. Keep forgiving me. This goes both ways, with fingers for pistols, firing indictments and blame at celebrities as machines I made. The bullets sometimes stand to temporarily tame the bitterness but it's still self-medicated anger, and the gunshot residue only fans the flames. I heard you say that fostering the festering pain was a match struck in the forest, and the faintest whisper enough of a gust to set it ablaze. Keep forgiving. Did it set your skin to fire as a boy, trying to reconcile how a father could possibly treat you like that? I used the past like funeral pyre, thinking I could burn it away and tie you to the stake while I'm at it. I wanted to be the broken link in the chain, but when I set the torch to timber, it was I who found myself burning from the inside out. And I see how hell is as here and now as it is anywhere else. Keep forgiving. Have pity. Is there a drop of water from my tongue? I used scissors to fork it and spoke blood. Spoke blood and tinctured the saliva to serve on a sponge. Called it compassion. Called it death by love. Well, no wonder we are so hell-bent on hanging someone. Keep forgiving. When the disconnect seems to beat the poetry out of you. And the joy isn't quite there, but you can't quite remember where or why it went. And the lenses protecting your vision continue to cloud and spread, reflecting eyes as opaque as that dimly lit mirror that they seem to be doubling up on just for the hell of it. Well, it was never just for the hell of it. But who really believes that in the midst of the dispersion or setting a broken bone? The bloodletting felt like murder, but you had to get the poison out of me. Keep forgiving. When we come brandishing swords for the ears of those who spoke to what they should have given over to silence. When I steal the right to vengeance. When I think that I am justified in my anger, like holding on to it is doing anything other than picking at wounds that I don't have the scope to see as a cell block. Keep forgiving. When the memories of what was threaten to shut your heart down. 
and the laughter that you can still hear from the mouths of friends who are no longer around make you wish that you could change the channel. If you write for everybody, you write for no one. So this will be for you. Keep forgiving as forgiven. As every pointer finger bent backward and broken, like the moment all of my indictments return to me and the bullets ricochet straight back in on my gun sights, well, this has been a small, narrow lens from which to view the world. Keep forgetting. We don't always get to wear the white hat. Pardon is not always preceded by repentance. In fact, it may very well be the opposite. If it were not for love, I would have never, ever come back. Keep forgiving. You can't unsee what you've seen, but the world is colorful, ferocious, and majestic without small men or straw men or me to blow smoke and mirrors from our machinery. That toggle switch is reductionistic. Let the pain go. Decrease. Hate is a prison. I have told my stories, but they are yours. You may never get your apology, and on the day that you do, it may not mean a thing. Keep forgiving. Listeners up next, thank you guys very much for everything. <laughs>